Hello guys, good morning. So today we'll be uh, looking into the uh, troubleshooting issues and troubleshooting steps. So uh, the today's topic is like how do you how do you troubleshoot it when my server is not working or when I'm not able to SSH to already working SSH server. So uh, lab environment over here I have set up is there are two servers, amazing C snail and a first signer. So uh, first signer is my SSH server and uh, uh, amazing C snail, C snail is my client. So uh, let's log into amazing C snail. Yeah, and then uh, so and let's log in. Go to Ubuntu. It's sudo su minus Ubuntu. Yeah, and then let's do SSH and the server. So let's use the IP to be on safer side. So this is what I am facing. I'm not able to log into this server. Initially I was able to, but uh, there was some patch upgrade activities happened on uh, on first signer. So I'm not able to. So what could be the uh, steps? So how do I go about from here? Let's just try ping first. Ping um, the server. Not able to ping. Maybe they have blocked ICMP echo request. Ping probes. So usually most of the servers they do it. Let's do telnet. Telnet. Just to check if my am I able to connect. No. So uh, yeah. So this is what it is there. So let's uh, and what what else we can do from here. So we just did ping. We're not we see, We can see that it's not reachable and we can see servers is running. And yeah, so let's go inside the server and check what is the problem. Let's see exec for signer bash. Yeah, so first thing we check is yes minus yes grab SSH. Yeah, so we saw it is running on this one, and let's check next that minus plnt grab grab the so we can see it is running on localhost and it's running on different ports. So ideally, I should be able to turn that on a different port. Four, 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 four. Still, I'm not. Yeah. So turn it. Oh, first signer. I mean, the IP address. Let's do from this server, this server itself. Still, I'm getting connection refused because it is bound to localhost. So, if I do localhost from here, it should work. Yeah. So, let's do the first step. Let's bind it to IP address so that it can be reachable from outside when it is reached on IP address. So, etc ssh config. Yeah, so restart and again let's check net stat yeah to check if it is still if we if we are results if we have our thing configuration reflected so yeah now we can see we are able to do telnet so I we should also be able to do telnet from outside so still we are not able to so we, we identified the port uh, but we're not able to do telnet from outside I mean yeah, so another thing to check should be UFW. So, sorry, UFW status. It is active, there are no rules. That's to number. Yeah, so we just allow UFW allow 4444 four, 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 slash TCP. And we check it's possible. So now we should be able to tell that yes we are able to cool so now SSH and yes this should work but it's still not working what what is another reason so if I do minus V it's still trying to connect on port 22 so 
let's point it make it to port 444 yeah so let's check a host name sorry so as you can see we are able to we are on the host name first signer and things are working yeah that's it for this model guys so please feel, feel free be, feel free to ping me or if, if you have any confusions yeah stay home stay safe hello guys good morning